Tonight, candidates who are trying to fill the vacant District 4 supervisor seat came together for another forum. This comes as voting for the special election is already underway. CBS 8's Richard Allen is in Bakers Hill tonight with what the candidates had to say and how you can cast your ballot. And while candidate Paul McQuig was a no-show, the other three candidates vying to take Fletcher's seat were here at St. Paul's Cathedral fielding a number of questions from housing and homelessness to climate change to the fentanyl crisis. One of the most pressing questions posed to these District 4 supervisory candidates, Janessa Goldbeck, who leads a veterans advocacy nonprofit, Monica Montgomery Stepp, a San Diego City Council member, and Amy Reichert, a licensed private investigator, was addressing the severe shortage of affordable housing. Reichert said large scale corporate real estate investors are a huge part of the problem. What they've been doing is they've been systematically evicting people from these apartment complexes, and that's absolutely wrong. We have to protect tenant rights. We have to build, and there are many things that we have to build uh, that we have to do to streamline that process to make it quicker. But on the other side, we have to be proactive and protect the people that are two, three, four hundred dollars away from making their rent. Well, as much as we need to invest in building more housing at every income level uh, in places where it makes sense to do that, we also need to take care of the emergency that is at our hands and on our doorstep right now, and that is the thousands of people who are living unsheltered. Another critical issue, preventing the number of in-custody deaths in the county's jail system. Well, we absolutely want to stop making the county jails our region's largest mental health provider, which is the absurd reality that we have now. In the meantime, if we're sending people to jail, a sentence to jail should not be a sentence to death. We need to provide them with appropriate care. Anything that promotes transparency and accountability is very, very important because uh, the job, if you have a job where you can carry a gun and you have immunity, if you hurt or kill someone, then the accountability level needs to be high. We're seeing historic highs of people who are being put in situations where they're committing suicide or they're overdosing or horrifically being murdered in our jails. And so we need accountability. And voters have until August 15th to drop off their ballots in the mail or one of the county's drop boxes. In-person voting starts on August 5th. For more information, just go to CBS8.com and click on the help button.